We equally reject attempts to prescribe new rights that are contrary to our values, norms, traditions, and beliefs. We are not gays. God says it is a man and a woman. The Bible says, my faith says, which one wins with Dr. Carson? Here's what I would do. I would do what the Constitution says. Constitution says civil issues of that nature should be determined at the state level. Why does it say that? Because the judicial system at the state level has to answer to the people. What if people of a state vote for a law 100 to 0 that winds up infringing on the rights of a minority, like happened very often with slavery, like many would argue is happening now with people who are gay? And our Constitution was followed and we corrected those things. And isn't so, that what's happening right now with same-sex marriage? It's being corrected as a form of violation of equal protection. No, you can't just say because it happened that way this time, this is the same situation. It's not the same situation. Because people have no control over their race, for instance. You think they have control over their sexuality? Absolutely. You think being gay is a choice? Absolutely. Why do you say that? Because a lot of people who go into prison go into prison straight, and when they come out, they're gay. So. Did something happen while they were in there? Most Ask yourself that question. Never go to prison, and you know but there's a whole theory of I dominance. Said, wait a minute. I know. said a lot of people who go in come out. Are you denying that that's true? I am no, not denying not. that that's true, but I am okay, denying that that's as a basis if, of understanding fact, homosexuality. If in fact that is the case, then it obviously thwarts what you just said. A lot of people go into jail as a drug addict, and they come out as a criminal. But Does that mean that all drug addicts? Are here's criminals? what's important. Why do gay people want to get married? Because they want to have various rights. No, they want Property commitment. Property rights. That's right. Visitation rights. They want their commitment to count just like why, mine and my wife's. Why can't any two human beings, I don't care what their sexual orientation is, why can't they have the legal right to do those things? That's what they're fighting for. Okay, that does not require changing the definition of marriage. But it would require covering that union as you do others, which is called, union, which is called marriage in our society. I don't think so. Can you talk about the referendum that Cubans will vote on this Sunday, uh, the new code legalizing same-sex marriage and civil unions, allowing same-sex couples to adopt children, uh, would also allow prenuptial agreements and surrogate pregnancies if they're nonprofit? Explain where this came from and what you expect to happen. What we're, we're going to vote on on Sunday is what we call the Families Code. It will replace the previous family code in plural, and this one is in, in singular, I mean. This one is in plural because it, it, it's based on the concept that there are different types and different uh, nature of, of families. It has many features that modernize our family code, which is outdated. It was progressive in the 1970s, but today, with the cultural evolution, with the ethical evolution in Cuba, with what happens around the world, what we see happens around the world, it tries to incorporate the most advanced Characteristics, characteristics of families in terms of children, the, the rights of women, the, the rights of people to form a communal union without having to depend on a legal instrument, and yet have the rights in terms of inheritance, in terms of property, that people who are married have. It also does not try to define who can form a union based on gender or political orientation. It, it, it provides many new rights for the population without it taking away any of the existing rights. That is, in, in, in synthesis, the basis of this code. It is controversial with traditional uh, uh, prejudices, with sometimes with the religious considerations, with ethical patterns of, of thinking, but we are sure it will have the support of the majority of the Cuban population. And because of this controversy, it, it, was, uh, it was considered that there was a need for a referendum, and that's what we're planning to do on, on Sunday. Nigeria's new same-sex marriage prohibition act has been condemned abroad, but applauded at home. And it has given President Goodluck Jonathan a much-needed popularity boost. I thought the Western world would so much pressurize us to bow to it. But hearing that, the president uh, signed against it. In fact, it's a kudos. You know, I'm very glad that he could stand his feet and sign against such a taboo. Because, I mean, it's un-African. We don't want something in our country. Many African countries inherited their anti-sodomy laws from colonial rulers. Some have since added stiffer penalties. Uganda is waiting to see if its president will sign the anti-homosexuality bill, passed by parliament in December. 
Offenders could be imprisoned for life. And the bill also includes jail time for just providing services to those who are lesbian, gay, bisexual or transgender, known as LGBT. Ugandan activists say they will fight the law. It's not going to change us from being LGBT. It's not going to change us from being gay. It's not going to stop us from speaking out. It's not going to stop us from showing our faces. Harassment and attacks against gays in Africa have surged over the past decade. Same-sex acts are illegal in 31 sub-Saharan countries. Actual enforcement varies widely, and the punishment ranges from years in prison to the death penalty. In South Africa, however, gay marriage and same-sex adoption are legal, and countries such as Mozambique and Botswana have outlawed forms of discrimination based on sexual orientation. But gay men and women say discrimination and danger persist throughout Africa. Senegalese activist say to Jamil Ba. Many hide their sexual orientation or try to go abroad. I don't push anyone to come out. It is a risk to live openly as gay men in Senegal, in Africa. Anytime your sexual orientation is known, your life is in danger. Defenders of anti-gay legislation in Africa say homosexuality is a threat to society and that the laws are about upholding religious and cultural values. But analysts say politics play a role as well, and the laws can reflect a scapegoating of the LGBT community.